real difficulty talking about domestic violence because there's nothing domestic about it whatsoever. Somehow, by calling it domestic violence, we put it into a private school. <laughs> It should not happen. It should not happen to women. It shouldn't happen to girls. Uh, violence is used against uh, children, boys and girls. This should not happen. And I think it's, you know, 20 years after Beijing, there are lots of things that are positive about where we are as uh, women and girls. And we need to remember that. But we also need to help our, our young people, and particularly young girls, to know that these other bigger systemic challenges have not gone away. And I remember being in uh, Yemen, and I see terrible things. I see the absolute worst of uh, humanity, but I also see the very, very best. I see people with nothing that are willing to share the nothing that they have. Uh, and I don't break down very often because you have to be strong in the job that I do. But I remember being in uh, Yemen and being told about an eight-year-old girl who died of internal injuries on her wedding night. And I went back to my hotel room and I just cried and cried. I couldn't hold it back. And I don't believe in cultural relativism. I, I don't believe that we should make excuses for this kind of thing. We have to put it out there, we have to say it's unacceptable, and I think, uh, and this is to women who, women like me, who are in positions of power and influence. We have to be out front. Because sometimes as women, we think that in admitting this continues, that we are somehow demeaning ourselves in the position that we have got to. I don't believe in that at all. We have to be at the front of these campaigns, and that's why I'm so proud to be here tonight. Thank you.